Hey, what's up everybody? It's Kelly K. And today I just want to come to you real quickly and uh, talk to those of you that are Christians, but you feel, I don't really need to go to church. You're right in thinking that the building isn't what makes the church. That's correct. A building is a building. We as a community of believers, that's what makes up the church. But let me ask you, where are your motives in saying you don't need to go? Do you truly feel that God has set you apart from everyone else and he doesn't want you as part of that community? Because so many times when we're called to be in church, it's not even for you. I used to be one of those Christians that felt I didn't need to go. I'd been hurt by the church and people in the church so many times that I didn't want to be a part of that at all. I knew that I could have a relationship with God on my own. And that's true. You can. But it's never going to be the full relationship that he intends for you to have. You see, I learned it was extremely selfish of me to not want to be a part of a church and not to give back to the community of believers. Look at it like this. Even in the wilderness, if a predator sees the prey alone, that's an easy target. You're going to get taken down pretty easily. But even if you're weak, but you're in a group, that predator is going to have to think twice before attacking you, as is the Christian community. We need that protection. We need that covering that you can only get from a group that is the church. Yeah, well, my church is nature. I serve God and I worship nature church. Well, what happens when you're in the hospital? Is the nature church going to come visit you? I didn't think so. The sad thing is most people don't go to church is because Satan has deceived them into thinking they don't need to and that they don't have to. Or they've just been hurt so many times by somebody inside the church. The fact of the matter is that the church is run by people, and people are broken, and people are imperfect. But that's when we have to look at Jesus. The Bible says follow Jesus, not follow Christians. I'm sure you've all heard in the Bible about the Sea of Galilee and the Dead Sea. And let me tell you, those two seas have something in common. They're both fed by the Jordan River. The Jordan River flows into both of them. The Sea of Galilee has life and tons of, of fish and things living in it. The Dead Sea is what it's called. It's dead. And the only reason for the difference is that the Sea of Galilee has an inflow and an outflow. The Dead Sea only has an inflow. You need to be giving out what you're getting in. And a church offers so many opportunities for you to give, not only to serve in your church, but to also help one another, speak into people's lives. You never know who's showing up for the first time that maybe they needed to see you there or who's going to come just because you're there. It's such a big picture that we only focus on a little piece so many times of why we feel we don't need to go. Don't be selfish anymore. Go to church and see not only how it blesses you, but how it blesses all of those around you. Thanks for watching. I'm Kelly Kay, obviously saying go to church. I love you guys. Jesus loves you. Be blessed. Have a great day. I am. We'll see you next time.